Tomato, how about tomato? Oh, where's the green? Hey guys, this is Mr. Paul Zamora and today I will show you the new different plants in Minecraft Pocket Edition. So here are the new plants in Minecraft Pocket Edition. So as you can see we have here different colors of different sizes. Of course, these are the new different crops or plants or vegetables in Minecraft Pocket Edition. And of course, it's only working for Minecraft PE 1.9.02 or higher update. Right now, I have 1.9.0.3. So let's check out all of these new vegetables here. So we have the first one. What's this? Uh, this is asparagus i think there we go and we also have the asparagus seed so you can plant it anywhere you like as long as it's uh, dirt or grass it doesn't matter if there's water or nothing you can actually plant it on any block but it's gonna be realistic if it's on grass or dirt next one we have what's this one let's get some so this is chili so when you plant it it will be like this now it will take uh, a few moments before all of these uh, grubs will grow you can actually stand on them they will not be destroyed as you can see uh, this one uh, will grow all the way uh, to its uh, highest peak later Let's have the next one. I think I know this one. This is cauliflower. I, I thought it was cabbage. So uh, every time uh, you uh, pick up the vegetable, it will give you uh, four seeds. So let's uh, plant the seeds here. So that's how they look. Let's have the next one. What's this? Is this tomato? No, it's a red uh, bell pepper. Now let's plant the seeds right here. I want to find uh, more bell peppers. I, I think this one, this is the green one. Is it? Yeah, so that's the green one. Let's plant the seeds of the green one here. So every time you pick up one vegetable, uh, you will be given uh, four seeds in return. So that's efficient. You can actually grow your farm with this method. Next one, this is the yellow bell pepper. Look at that. So we have four different colors of bell peppers here. Where is the other one? This one. Okay, so this is the uh, orange bell pepper. That is so awesome. Let's go here. I think I know this one. This is rye. Rye seeds. Are this rye? So we have the rye seeds. Where's the rye? Oh. I was not given any rye. There's no rye? Alright. Let's have the next one. What's this? I think this is a white radish. Let's plant the seeds. Next one. This looks like wheat. Okay, that is actually rice. Let's plant all the seeds here. We still have uh, space here. This one is radish. I guess so. Yeah, it's reddish. So the color of the seed is like this. It's like orange, red orange. How about this one? This looks familiar. Oh, tomato. There are 20 seeds. I'm going to plant uh, just two of them. Next one, I think this one is a cabbage. Is it? There we go. And then we have this uh, wheat looking thing. It's actually ripe. Next up, the next one. This one is actually a fruit. That's a pineapple. We only have one pineapple. I, I don't know that pineapple has seeds. Next, we have this. What's this? Rhubarb. I don't know what's that. This looks like berries. Raspberry. Okay, and finally, we have the eggplant. Look at that. All right, time to you. Uh, time for you to return to the ground. I will plant all of these seeds right here. Oh, what happened there? 
All right, so these are the uh, vegetables, the crops that I have. So uh, I wonder if you can actually place them on top of the table. There we go. So that is the robot. How it looks. Uh, they will uh, serve as decor on top of your table of course we also have the raspberry look at that and then eggplant if you are a map maker and you have something like market or supermarket or grocery you can actually uh, include uh, all of these things right here let's uh, put more that's radish I like it and then the rye tomato how about tomato oh where's the green Where's the green part of this tomato? It doesn't look like tomato. Let's have a uh, pineapple. Oh my goodness. Cabbage, lettuce, of course. Cauliflower, they look the same. All of these three right here. They look uh, very similar. Asparagus, oh. I need to put that. It looked like a uh, green stick. Chili, that is awesome. You can also make a kitchen with all of this design. Uh, this looks like tomato, but it's actually a red bell pepper. We also have the green, yellow, and uh, orange, of course. Oh, look at that. What happened there? And then we also have the white radish and the rice. That's so cool. Now, if you are in creative mode, you can easily access all of this. So you just need to go here in the nature's tab and then the egg section. And as you can see all the way down here, we have uh, the crops, the vegetables, and also the seeds. And this is so awesome. Now, we also have additional items here. We have the wild fern seed and the mushroom plus now let's find out how they look so the fern uh, can be like this so it's better if you're going to put this on a biome like a forest biome now for the mushroom it's gonna be better if you're going to put it uh, in a biome with this kind of uh, grass or floor and uh, of course this is mycelium it's gonna be a good fit so let's take a look we have the white mushroom we have different types of mushrooms here so the orange one I don't know how they are called but this is gonna be random we have different colors you can actually put them uh, on top of grass or any block but it's gonna be uh, more realistic if you're going to use mycelium now if you are in survival mode you can actually find all of these things and you can also have all of these vegetables uh, crops right here if you don't want to use cheat but of course this will not work if you're not going to use an add-on and I'm going to leave the link for this add-on in the description down below. Uh, uh, the, the name of this add-on is more crops add-on so uh, I'll just leave it in the description so that you can use it. Now if you don't want to use cheat, uh, you're using an add-on but you're not using cheat, you want to play in survival mode, then you need to find someone like him. He is not just an ordinary villager, he must be a farmer. It doesn't work with any type of villager, it only works with him. Alright, so what you need okay it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, of course expensive uh, what he needs is a block of emerald only one block of emerald and a block of diamond or a block of diamond so let's see uh, let's have a block of emerald first so uh, as you can see there's the bribe sign so you're going to bribe him give me give me uh, the crops uh, the set of crops. I will give you this uh, block of emerald. So as you can see, there's the trade. And where is it? Where is it? Oh, there we go. Okay, give it to me. Oh my! I cannot. I can't reach him. I can. I can't reach him. Give it to me. Why are you not giving it to me? Okay, so uh, let's go down here. There's actually uh, like. Oh, there we go. <laughs> There's actually like a barrier there. So uh, we have this more crops add on legendary. Now let's try the block of diamond. 
so uh, bribe there we go there's the block of diamond so <laughs> let's go again here underneath and there's the two uh, blocks these are two blocks actually added blocks so you can place them on the ground just like that and then uh, when you uh, kill them they are actually entities when you kill them uh, this crate or this block will give you how many hits does it take oh my goodness there's too much oh there we go so <laughs> there's a lot of plants here i can't even get uh, the other plants so that's the idea if you want to uh, play in survival mode and you want to get all these items oh it's teleporting okay there we go so there are the plants and the seeds and there's too much actually 56 each that's awesome that's oh my goodness so that's it guys that's how to get more plants more vegetables more crops in minecraft pocket edition i hope you enjoyed make sure to subscribe leave a like and comment down below thank you so much for watching have you ever felt are you listening damn uh -huh.